Hey everyone, this is Mystic Fish, and welcome to episode 57 of our playthrough of Factorio Death World Marathon. So, uh, let's take a look at uh, what we have going on here. So, last uh, episode, we got uh, our uh, uranium processing going. We definitely have some of the shiny rocks, which means we can begin thinking about uh, nuclear power now. Uh, we expanded our stone up here um, and got turned our stone into a uh, our stone train into a two wagon train. And I think what we want to do this time is let's get the nuclear power up and running because uh, that would be pretty exciting. So to do that, we are going to need to get a nuclear reactor. Um, this is going to require quite a bit of stuff here, so um, we may just get a an assembly machine to assemble all this stuff here. So let's just stick it here just for a moment. And I think we want to make two of these um, so that we can get sort of the double efficiency bonus by putting them next to each other. So I want you to make those. All right, you need, uh, let's see, you need 500 copper plate for a nuclear power. That's 500 right there. Um, okay. Um, you go in there. You need 500 steel, uh, which we have nearby here as well down here. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll put that in there. Uh, we need 500 advanced circuits and 500 concrete. Well, the concrete's right here. All right, so concrete goes in. And let's go get some red circuits from down here. Um, which, uh, if we're gonna make more of these, we're going to need to be collecting more than I think we are. Yeah. Um, okay, do we have 500? No. Um, but we will be there shortly, I think, especially if we run around here and just grab all these. All right, do we have 500 now? Yes, we do. Okay. All right, let's get that going. Okay, red circuits go in. Um, and then we can get uh, we can get the next set. I guess you're not full yet, but um, we have a copper buffer down here that maybe we can snarf some things from. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, we can put you in there. We have one nuclear reactor, that's exciting. Um, we need the steel. One, two, three, four, five. Steel goes in. We need the concrete. One, two, three, four, five. Concrete goes in. And let's see where we're at for red circuits. How many do we get in here? Ooh, not very many. Um, okay, looks like we'll be snagging these off the belt here. Give me all of the red circuits, please. How many did we get? Nah, we're short. Okay, let's work on the other stuff while we're waiting for this to stack up. Um, and let's change the priority here. Up priority right just for a minute so that we can stack as many into the box as possible. Okay, so the other things we're going to need are boilers. Um, so we need pipes and steel and copper for those. Okay, so let's get some more steel. Uh, let's get copper. And what else have we said? Pipes, pipes we need. All right, let's get some regular pipes right there. Okay, so um, 
that lets us get five heat exchangers. Now, each if we put them two nuclear reactors next to each other, each one will be able to support eight boilers. So we want 16 total boilers. So, okay, so that means we're gonna need another, another 1100 steel. I think that math, that's how that math works. Okay, so let's get four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Um, oh, not steel, not steel. I didn't want all that steel. Okay, put this back. I need copper for this. Here we go. This is what I need eleven hundred of. All right, and there's eleven heat exchangers. Very nice. And for these, we can do 14 per reactor. So we want 28 total. So that means we're going to need 1,400 copper, uh, 1,400 gear wheels, and quite a bit of pipe. Um, so that will take a little while to get. Let's see what we got on gear wheels. Uh, let's get all those. Let Looks like we could stand to grab a bunch of those. All right, um, we need copper and pipes. Do we still have pipes? We still have some pipes. Let's get some more pipes. Um, and we need more copper. All right, now can we make, we can make four of these. All right, and then we're out of pipes. Um, looks like we should get some of these. Okay, so that gets us up to, we just made four. Um, that makes 10. We need to get to 28. Um, that's 12. Okay, now we're short on gear wheels, etc. All right, that gets us to 17. Um, 18, now we need copper. 19, 20, 21, now we're short of iron again. Two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and now short on iron. And that makes twenty-eight. Okay. Um, then the last element we'll need are a bunch of these guys here. Um, sure, we'll start with twenty-four, but we will probably need more copper and steel for this, so. So we'll just back that up and we'll bring it with us because we can make those. All right, um, let's see if we got enough red circuits for the second uh, nuclear reactor. Over here, um, we now have over 500, so that will work. We can put the priority back where we wanted it, back towards science. Um, okay. Let's put the red circuits in. All right, there's our second nuclear reactor, so that's good. All right, so we'll pick you up. Um, okay, what else do we need? We're gonna need two water pumps, uh, a bunch of pipe. I guess we can go grab some more pipe from down here for routing the water in. Okay, um, and then we're going to need, let's see, I wanna put, all right, let's 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 look here at um, these guys. So these take 10 iron plates to make 10 fuel cells. So each fuel cell runs for 200 seconds. Um, we, uh, but we get 10, so that's 2,000 seconds, but we have two reactors, so that's 1,000 seconds. 
So we want to say something like 40 iron plates gets us an hour. So if we do 400 iron plates, that's 10 more hours of playtime. Um, so if we get, a th let's get a thousand iron plates and then we can carry that down and start manufacturing the fuel cells. Um, rather than running a belt, um, I think we can get sort of enough iron for the rest of um, our playthrough here. All right. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see, we need a little extra space. So let's get rid of this sulfur up here somewhere. Okay, great. Um, we are still making the steam turbines. Uh, that's okay. Uh, we just need to make sure we have some place to put all of that. Um, let's get rid of the stone. Um, over here. All right, that makes a little more space. And let's get, let's put the burner inserters down. We'll put them back in deep storage here. Okay, so let's start um, laying this out a little bit. Okay, what's this attack looking like? That's looking like uh, stuff that got repaired. Um, so that's okay. All right, um, all right, whoa, hello train. Let's not get run over. Okay, so um, we are going to, I think we don't really need to bother with Cobrex. We have plenty of uranium. Uh, we have enough reactors going, or sorry, centrifuges going to power our reactors. Oh, I know, I do wanna grab a couple of efficiency modules. Um, so let's see. Let's put the assembling machine down here. Um, and yeah, this, this should work fine. Um, we'll turn you, we'll have you make those. Now I wanna put productivity modules in here just to make our shiny rocks last uh, long, as long as possible or sort of get the most out of them as possible. So um, really just need two productivity modules for that. Um, so let's go snag those right here. Um, let's put half stacks back. Perfect. All right. And then we can start laying this stuff out. Um, Okay. Now, one thing we know we need is um, that's big enough. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and you, we're gonna get, we're gonna give you a lot of iron here. Um, so that can go there. Um, we know we want that going in there. Um, we want our productivity modules in here and here. Um, and then we can also put the dull rocks in there and then this is extra storage. So that's fine. Um, okay, and then for right now, let's just put these in a box. We can start making these. Um, we don't make that many, so yellow inserter is probably fine. Um, in fact, yellow inserters are probably fine for a bunch of this stuff, but um, all right, you're just waiting for your dull rocks, um, which will be coming out of these guys. Okay, so that will work. Um, and then we can come over here and see about um, where we want to stick the reactors and stuff. Um, so I'm thinking we can maybe put them up here in this area, um, over here next to next to this water. So where does the water come out? Um, let's get these out of the way. Uh, okay. All right, this should work. 
Um, all right, so I think we can go up and down from here. So where's our two reactors? So let's do the reactors here. Uh, we don't have the heat exchangers yet, but we'll run them up this way. Um, we are going to want a way to feed the fuel cells in like this. Um, and then we can have these go down and around the other side. And you will also have to hit skip over the heat pipe um, like that. I guess we can move you down a little bit. Okay. And so you will need fuel cells going in, spent fuel cells going out. Uh, you will need the same deal. E pipes will come up here. We need heat exchangers. So those can go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we can go down eight this side. Let's see, we want it like this. Okay, then we need lots of pipes for the steam. Whoops. Not that much steam. Okay, steam comes this way. And then the steam turbines can hang off of here. So we need 14 on a side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, that means the steam needs to go up to here. And then we're still making those on this side, so that's okay. But we can line these up. Gotta get this tree out of the way. Um, let's clear some forest. And looks like we need three more. Okay. That means the pipes need to come down to here. Oh, we're out of pipes. Oh no, we got, oh no. All right, let's go get more pipes. And we probably have enough belts for this. But um, I think this will be enough power for the rest of the run. But uh, if it's not, we have set this up in a way that we can expand it or at least double it pretty easily. So uh, I'm not too worried about that. All right, let's get some more pipes down here. Pipes. Um, okay, that seems all right. That attack there, all right. Um, closing in on the rest of the steam turbines, um, but that's okay. And then we need a water pump for each side of this. Oh, I was short on pipes, so let's put those in. Okay. Um, now we need, let's clear some of this. Did we make the pumps yet? We did not make the pumps yet. Um, all right, those are almost done. All right, so let's run, let's run belts then. Um, we can run belts quickly. And of course, let's see, we're not gonna, we can duck under this. We're not gonna be running nuclear reactors out to here. If we did, something probably went horribly wrong. Um, okay, hop across the train tracks, and then let's come down here to where the fuel cells are being made, and we'll run them up there. I guess we don't have to cross the tracks because they're actually being produced south of this. All right, that finished the rest of our manufacture, so that's good. All right, so we'll come down here. Let's get rid of the 
forest, 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 out of the way. Uh, I guess this would be faster if I actually, uh, it's no faster. All right, um, okay. And we'll run this way. Do we have, will we have enough belts? Gonna be close. We actually don't have to come all the way back for the return trip here, so that's okay. Um, we just need these to go in here. All right, fuel cells. That looks good. I guess we can cut cross country now. All right, we finished making all this stuff. So we can put these in here. We can get this water pump here. That's a good spot for you. Let's run. Let's see, where do I want these to come in here for the water? Okay, that's water for you, if I connect the pipe. Okay, that looks good. Um, we are going to need power poles to cover you. And some there. And power poles up this side. Let's make sure these connect here. Okay, and then we want a water pump over here. Where's the water pump? And, okay. Pipes coming in. Pipes coming up. All right, that's water in there. All right, that looks good. Um, this is not actually connected to power yet. Um, so where's the closest place to do it? Probably off the end of up here. All right. Um, so one of the things that we can do here as our fuel makes its way through is we can do this. Um, let's do a loop like this, then let's see, I guess we can make, uh, filter inserters, um, although we don't need to do those. Um, okay. So we want to put these on the inside of the belt. And then if we do, we can filter the spent ones out to the left, and then we can just put those in a box. Okay, we won't, we won't worry about recycling that stuff for right yet. Um, let's see, I don't wanna interfere with any more stuff I might need to lay out, so let's just bring the additional power down for this for the inserters. Um, I think this will do it. Um, so let's see if this gets turned on here. I guess that would, you would be better there. All right, let's see if this works. It should work. I've got water in, yep. We've got fuel coming in, um, which will continue circulating around. We've got a way to pull the spent ones off. And all right, this is starting to heat up. And these, this should also be plugged into the power grid already. So um, 
Oh, this is not going to work because we didn't put the heat pipes in. Oh yeah, that's a little important. Um, okay, heat pipes go here. Oh, we're short. Um, can we make some more of those? Yep. Okay. And we need some for down here too. Excuse me for a second there, sorry. Uh, but we can get the heat pipes in. All right, um, and then we should have power once that uh, gets up to heat, um, which will take a little bit. I guess we're at 200 already, so we're moving. Uh, I think it needs to get up to 500 for this to start generating power. So um, what else can we be doing that's useful in the time that we have remaining? Because I do want to wrap up this episode pretty soon. We're about at time. Um, oh, I know one of the things we can do. Let's go research accumulators uh, just because that will allow us to um, be smart about turning down the... Um, the uh, the steam power. So uh, because the way that works is what we can do is we can use the circuit network. We can stick an accumulator right here and attach it. And basically, as long as there's enough power, the accumulator will be charged. And so we can then hook up wires to these pumps and say, as long as the accumulator has enough charge, meaning as long as other electricity sources are keeping keeping up with things, right? Because if we're running short on power, the accumulator will drain, right? And it'll lose its charge. Um, so as long as things are, uh, we have enough electricity from elsewhere, then don't run the pumps. And so that will effectively turn off the steam, um, which should really help us from a pollution point of view. Um, so we're getting there. All right, so, um, so let's, uh, while we have some time, uh, let's see what we have remaining. Um, let's get in the map view again. Okay, so for purple science, um, we have all the smelting hooked up except for the steel. Um, although we have this all set up, uh, that all looks good. Um, we have smelting fuel in here for all of these. And so what we really are just gonna need is we're gonna need a train over here with four lanes of iron. And so which iron do we wanna tap? Um, we can possibly get it here. Um, we can possibly get it here. Um, I might come up. I might come and do this one, um, just because uh, we don't have to sort of figure out how to cram two trains in. And I think we have access to plenty of we have access to plenty of iron um, around for that. So I think we'll do that, and then we can begin. Oh, I know what we can do. We can start um, getting some of this stuff out of the way. So these defenses are in the way. Um, so um, let's see, does that pipe go anywhere else? It does not. So we can get rid of these and we can get rid of these and these and that. Okay, uh, so we can uh, we can let the robots pick that stuff up for us. Um, that'll clear out some space for designing designing stuff here. Um, I guess the other thing that we can do, we can come back and look at this um, in the map view as long as we've got radar over here, which uh, we can make happen. All right, we're starting to get steam out. Okay, that's exciting. Um, but I want to make some more cliff explosives just because we just use those all up. Um, so let's just go get those going. Do we still have steel? Yep. Okay, so we can just nab some more explosives and get cliff explosives. There. Uh, cliff explosives are here. Ooh, that's a lot of cliff explosives. Sure. Um, okay, what are we doing on... All right, we got steam turbines going, folks. 
Um, that is good stuff. We got more fuel cells coming in. We got the spent ones coming out here. Uh, let's actually click on this um, to look at production. Okay, we are now producing Cable of producing 228 megawatts, so that is great. We're using about 50, and the nuclear power is should be capable of generating 160. So that is good stuff. So um, when we get our accumulator research done, uh, we will be able to turn off the steam power. That will help us out with our pollution. Um, and then I think uh, that's not sort of a super high priority, but uh, I think we'll be focusing next episode on getting the iron in for the steel and then getting going on purple science. So exciting stuff here. Uh, we'll do a quick evolution check. Um, zero point close to 0 0.87. So we've taken a little detour here, uh, but nuclear power is a big uh, piece of infrastructure that's very pollution efficient. Um, that'll give us the electricity I think we need for the rest of the game, like I said. And uh, we are pretty close to having all of the resources we need for setting up Purple Science. So that seems like a pretty good episode. So uh, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And until then, bye.